What's going on guys, ANCAP24 here back with another video from the Gun Wide Trips Week Formation Scheme that we're doing um, for this month of June here. And this is going to be video number three. And what we're going to do is talk about the PA Post Cross Shot, not as a bomb play, but as a ability to, to beat um, those heavy blitzers, right? Whether it's Big Dime 146, whether it's going to be, you know, 3-4 odd, 3-4 even. When people are sending seven players... We need to be able to show them that we have dots and, and options to get them from stop blitzing so then we can open up our bomb plays, we can open up other base plays, and just, just opportunities to go against coverage. So that's what we want to talk about PA post cross shot. You called it, you wanted to go for the bomb, but they're showing a blitz look. What am I going to do out of it? Okay. Now there's two style blitzes that you can see a lot. You're going to see the soft squat blitzes, whether that's the DB sting to buzz, pinch dog to press at a 3-4 odd, or you're going to see the cover 4 blitzes, where it's either the cover 4s, and they're blitzing everybody, and they have the guys in outside quarters, or they do some type of adjustment where the players are in outside quarters, okay? For this, we're going to show you both, okay? So let's start with DB Sting 2 Buzz, and I want to show you how I attack soft squats with this, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to blitz everybody, and I'm going to move these guys in, and basically, you know, get them to be in contains. We can move these guys down a little bit. And typically what you're going to see is that in this formation, they may use this guy because it's only a, a uh, solo receiver on the left. Or they're going to use her probably one of these um, linebackers after they've touched a lineman and kind of move. Okay. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave it on the defensive tackle. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the... Um, principles of soft squats against them and have easy plays. We're going to block our running back, put the B on a drag, X on a slant, and we're going to motion the B over. What that's going to do is it's going to get a one-on-one -on -one with um, the RB receiver with this cornerback right here, Gilmore. In soft squats, that guy is going to match him. He's going to play him man-to-man, -man, and that's going to take him all the way to the left side of the field. So he's not going to be, the RB is not going to be much of a threat there. But all we're doing is because we're clearing that out, they're sending seven, there's going to be nobody on the right side of the field, which forces the user to have to make a decision. Do I cover the drag to the right or do I stay in the middle for the slant? Because they are spaced out as well as they are and they go in two different levels, it's an easy read. I'm going to slide right. I'm going to ID the uh, cornerback on the left. And what you're going to see here is we pick up the blitz. We throw it to the B, and we're going to get some easy yards, right? You get, usually get that little bit of a blocker there and have some success. Now, it seems so simple, right? Like, how is it that simple? Well, if you're going against somebody that is doing those soft squats, they're going to get taken away because of this 13, right? 13 is going to take that guy out of, the, out of the field. So that's opening up this whole area. Now it's simple. You look at them. If they don't cover this drag, you've got to be okay hitting the drag, getting your three, four, five yards if they're playing a trailing position. Because a lot of time the user is going to try to stay in between those two players trying to bait you. You want to hit that drag. If you've got a player that's a grab and go player, this is a great spot for him. You know, something to catch the ball and get up the field. And what you're going to do is you can just hit them and basically get your yards. If they are trying to take that away, they can't cover that player as well, right? Simple concept. But it's something that sometimes you just have to take yourself back and say, what can I do to defeat this to get them out of it? If they feel helpless on this play two or three times, they're not blitzing and, or they're not blitzing out of soft squats. Okay, so I'll show it to you one more time. Basically, what you're going to see here again is um, you're going to get these guys to blitz, bring these guys down, bring these guys over, and you're good to go. Right. And these are not long developing routes, right? These soft squats, um, these drags and, and, and slants are going to be easy to do. So we're dragging the B, we're slanting the X. You can hike it here if you want where he can go real quick, go through there. You can hit the B or you can hit the X and you're going to have a lot of success, right? So I'm just going to have some fun with that ball. But this is really where you're going to be when it comes to being able to, you know, easily attack that style. Now, another type of style I like to do against soft squats, I'm just gonna show you a second style here, is using this player, um, the RB, as an umbrella. What I mean by that, and I talk about this a little bit, is where he's gonna be a shield. When I motion him over to the left, he's gonna shield this X receiver that I'm putting on and out. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my, uh, deep, uh, my uh, offense line, I'm gonna slide right, ID left, and what you're gonna see here is that 
the RB is going to drive the soft squat as deep as we can make him to go. He's going to drive him back, drive him back, drive him back. We're just going to hit this X, catch this ball, get ourselves an easy 8 to 10 yards. Okay. Now, why I like this is because you have a backside in. The backside in is something that if the user wants to go to the left side of the field, this backside in is going to be able to go one-on-one -on -one with this player. And in this game, the ins are really good to beat um, you know, the matching. And you're going to be able to see how he's open there. And that player's open there. So it's a one-two punch. Something simple. Again, it's not rocket science. It's basically just understanding how to space the field, how to use zones to benefit you, and basically work smarter, not harder. Okay? So that's cover two soft squat when I go against you know seven man blitzes with this play. Now, what if we go against your cover four drop type defense, right? So I'm gonna blitz those guys. I'm gonna blitz the Y, I'm gonna blitz the A, move them in. And so here's more of your cover four style. This guy, they're, they're gonna press. So this guy is gonna get a little bit further down. This guy usually is going to be the user. Okay, now I showed you this in a different video. If this user is basically in a hook curl, not in a hook curl, but is playing the field like he's just waiting for something over the middle, we're going to move this guy over, put the X on a streak, and we're going to put the B on a drag. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to slide right, ID left, okay? Now, in the, in the other video, what I showed you was I really like the ability to use the, um, the fade route and that I smart route it. Well, this will work, and I'll show you basically with the streak. When you move him over, you just have to throw this ball over the top and pass lead it, right? And I didn't pass lead it all the way to the left where I should have. But if you can beat them on that or at least throw the ball, and even if they have a near, um, you know, they, they, they hit you at the, at the last second, the ball comes out, it's a threat which they have to worry about. So if they're in this, what you're going to see is once that happens, they're going to start saying, I can't play aggressive down i have to, if i'm using that player i have to make sure that i am not going to get beat over the top so they're going to play it very similarly to this player here where they're going to make sure that they they are playing deep so i'm going to leave them that deep quarter and what that happens is that they're going to take away the x okay that's what they're going to do as a user now what that opens up if they're going to be playing deep on the x you're going to be able to hit those rb really really quickly in front of the um inside quarter so watch what i mean when you hike the ball, right as it passes there, unfortunately I didn't get my hands up. I, I didn't do it quick enough, but I'll do it here. I don't think I even uh, set my, my uh, what's it called, my uh, protection. So let me try this again here for you. What I mean here is when we do this, and we're going to set the Y and the A, we're going to go ahead and, and blitz them both, move this guy down, move this guy down, press. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to set my protections up All right move this guy over put him on a streak and what I was trying to show you is you can hit this RB in front of everybody here you go RB comes here get your player hit him really quickly and the reason for that is because he's going in front of the inside quarter and they don't basically um, react in time you'll be able to go right in front there and there so if they have to worry about this guy going deep Look where the, the user has to be, right around there. They can't cover both, right? It's If they're going to cover that player right there, then they're never going to be able to recover to the streak. Now, say you get fooled out. That maybe they play in between, and you're like, I don't know what to do. That's what the drag's for. The drag's going to come across the middle, and because of the way it works, you can, you can wait for it to basically go across as much time as you have, right? So I'll show you that option as well. So here we go. And we're going to blitz this guy here, move these guys in, move this guy down, move this guy down. Okay, so this is this is the look. So say they, they do a good job of taking away your initial read of the RB. They somehow, because you waited too long on it, they were able to get back to X. Now you've got the B on the drag. Okay, so I'm going to slide right, do this, picking up the blitz. Now we're waiting on this. Now we're throwing it to him, and we're getting some really easy yards, okay? It's really about making sure that they feel helpless on defense when they send people and saying, you know what, I got no answers. If I'm sending seven, I can't stop this. And once they get that feeling, they get out of it. The other way I like to do against cover four, and I showed you this on a, on a previous video as well, 
is to use the curls, okay? With curls, what you're gonna see is we're gonna use the same exact setup, okay? And the curl routes are going to be the outside player, okay? So I'm doing this, say we're, we're getting them to cover the middle of the field. Maybe I'll do this the first time, and the second time I'm gonna do the curl. The curl on the B is a really nice route that basically will give you an opportunity to beat this. You're gonna stop, throw it to him, and get that ball. Now, I didn't low ball it, and, and you know, obviously Gilmore is really good at this, but it is a route that I use a lot, and I actually use Curl Comeback Elite on my players um, as that fourth one right now in Mutt, just because of the fact that they have the ability to make that cut even quicker. So that's something that I'm, uh, I'm gonna do a low ball this time just to make sure that um, we are, you know, kind of showing you the best way to do this. And here, here's, here's the, uh, I'm just gonna re replicate it this way. Let's go ahead and look at it, slide right, ID left. We're gonna put the B on the curl. And this is really what you're looking for, right? The guy comes here, you put on the curl, you put on the low ball. Your low ball accurate is basically shielding your player to make sure that he doesn't do what he did on the first example where I didn't low ball it and the guy came around and hit my hands. If I put it in a low ball, you're good to go. So what I really wanted to do with this video is kind of show you, hey, we are showed you bombs. We've shown you different ways to really, you know, take advantage of, of them playing coverage. Now they're gonna go to blitzing. If they do all out blitzing, we're gonna go ahead and torch them with simple concepts depending on the style in which they're doing. Now, uh, a lot of people are gonna ask, how do I know if they're in cover four or if they're in uh, soft squats? You can go ahead and, and, and do a temperature check. What I mean by that is move this guy over and you know, you can put him on, on a, a hitch, right? And what I mean by, really why I say hitch is because it's an easy just dump off pass. And all I'm looking for is to see, does the player on the right take my receiver and go across, right? If I'm doing this and I'm just going here, I hit the B, now I can look down the field and I saw that I didn't have to look at it like as I'm throwing the ball, but this is what I'm making a mental note of. I'm making a mental note that this guy right here get covered across the field. So once I caught this ball, I can look over there and say, oh yeah, he did cover him. Okay, he covered him. Now I know they're in soft squats. So sometimes when you're just looking to get your ability to know what they're in or whatever the case may be, sometimes it's just feeler plays, right? That hitch was really just to get me three, four yards, but more importantly was I needed to see what type of defense they were in so I can attack differently or the same on the next play. So hopefully this was helpful information, guys. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another video. Make sure you go ahead and put in the comment below um, you know, certain plays that you might want us to go over, certain coverages, certain um, scenarios, you know, like all out blitzing, seven man blitz, whatever the case may be. Um, that way we can definitely go ahead and make this as tailored as possible to our um, subscribers on YouTube. And we appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, hit that um, like to help us out. And uh, we appreciate you and see you tomorrow. Now, if you like this video, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out these videos below for the most helpful Madden tips. If you're looking to learn from the best players in the world, head over to www.playbook.gg for the most detailed game plans in Madden.